So, <clears throat> today is finally the day that I'm going to start ripping shit out of there. And I know I had like the first little change, <laughs> so to speak, was the um, thing for the steering wheel, the steering wheel cover. But my god, I just want to rip shit off the walls. Like, so bad. So, I have a fancy new tool kit. I switched into uh, the good old Canuck. Uggs because um, well I live in Canada and it's cold as fuck outside and walking around on the cement and stuff just made my body that much colder but I'm only here for like a couple hours and I think the Uggs will uh, do me well so if you don't mind me cheers to McDonald's for fueling uh, my energy today and I guess let's see what the fuck I get done <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm already stressing out. I would just like to point out that there was totally something in the bottom of that toilet because as soon as I went to go put it down, everything just fucking sloshed back and forth. <clears throat> nasty. Fucking nasty. So now that the bed is completely gone, there's so much room in here that I can work with and the bed didn't really fit with the futon mattress that I wanted anyways but I had to get in here and see because just as I suspected there's screws along the bottom but now I can get all this off and I can start taking off the foam for this shit here want to point out this discoloration right here is not good I don't really have a mask so I'm just gonna wing it and hope I don't die <laughs> uh, no really um, I'm a little bit concerned not so much by the black color on some of it um, but rather these original looking studs unfortunately I still have to chisel away at all this shit because it didn't come off in one piece like it did down there guys so I got the whole one side done except the top because there's a light up there so I literally just did everything except that corner and then I started on this wall I ripped the paneling down as far as pretty much the cupboards here or the cupboards I was gonna go a little bit later but it's five o'clock and I want to clean up some stuff here um, I just basically want to pile all the garbage like in a garbage pile the stuff that's maybe salvageable and a salvageable pile even though it's literally just probably the frame from the bed that is worth keeping other than that there's not a whole lot there is one thing that i want to do right before i leave today though because i realized how easy it is to rip this flooring out so that's my next and last task so let's do it so while i was vacuuming i pulled up a couple pieces of this and i accidentally pulled a couple up just before and I think it's gonna come off like pretty fucking easy. So this is the flooring that I don't want. And it's glued to the plywood on the bottom. The only thing about ripping this out right now is that this floor is literally so sticky. So I'm wondering if I should just leave it because once I rip the floor out, everything else has to pretty much be done and I have to be able to put something over top because 
it's literally like steel glue right now. The bad thing about this flooring is that it literally has plywood and then flooring. There's no insulation at all underneath this floor and I don't know how this plywood is actually attached to the floor because as of right now, as of right now, I don't see one screw. But this plywood is not very promising. And it kind of smells weird in that corner. So I'm wondering how, when I should look at that. I'll show you. I'll show you really quick what this corner looks like. And it has a smell of cigarette. This is the corner that smells like cigarette. I'm ripping all this carpet out, by the way. That's, oh, oh, okay, that's promising. So they have spray foam around that part, which is okay. So I think that's it for today. I'm gonna pretty much wrap up here. I'm gonna clean up and just go home and clean myself up. But I'll be back tomorrow, I think, um, in the morning. So I might get some more done. I might take out the cabinets and actually leave the whole thing bare and start ripping out all the other foam. I really want to figure out what that smell is behind me because it's really foul. And once I get all the foam board off the roof, I can see what state the roof is in. In all fairness, the rest that I have to do to get this foam board off is the ceiling. That second half of the wall behind the kitchen or the kitchen and the very back wall so I've gotten I'd say about almost half of it no maybe not I got about one third almost one third done and then I really want to rip this carpet out and stuff and see what's underneath it anyways I'm getting ahead of myself if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to follow the journey of the renovation then just stay tuned hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video